Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Oh, Kyle Lafferty. Are you joking no! me? Is that right? I All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the Shoutia segment on Irish Radio. It's a scintillating, it's a stupefying, it's a spendido crappy quiz. Every Friday, we pit three of team off the ball up against each other in a quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome tonight's contestants. Our first contestant today is made of mashed potatoes, chopped scallions, butter and milk because he is the champ, champ, champ. Give it up for Adrian. Who's your daddy, Barry? And, and a bit of brioche. <laughs> hey. Beautiful. Beautiful brioche. We've got uh, a, a, a tag team here. We've got uh, Adrian and Con in uh, the brains, corner brains of the family. Yeah, the brains, brains of the family with his long Christmas haircut. Happy days. Everybody's <laughs> up against it today. Our next contestant didn't enjoy any Easter eggs at the weekend because of his dedication to his club football. He has one stowed away and ready to eat after his next club game, though, sometime around September 2023. Give it up for Tommy Rooney. Hello, folks. That's spot on. Come on, come on. What, what, what skills are you working on, Tommy? <laughs> at the minute. Uh, like, uh, no, I, wasn't, I wasn't actually, I wasn't, I wasn't interested. I was, it was joking. Don't answer oh. me seriously. Tree, tree climbing, wall climbing, chasing the sun. Oh, did, you see, it's like, did you see Reese McLenahan's burpees earlier, no? Yeah, they were pretty intense. Yeah. I tell you what, I've, had, I've done too many burpees over the last couple of weeks, but uh, Reese McLenahan's took it to another level. What's the jersey? It's, it's a Maynooth Sigerson jersey. I can confirm that I did not play Sigerson football at all. I didn't play for Maynooth. It's uh, my pal's. Ryan McEnany's. I don't know how it ended up in my gear bag, but I got it about six years ago off him and he hasn't got it back. Uh, God, Tommy, your true, true Gale credentials, by the way, have just taken a bit of a hit there. Not a Sigerson Cup footballer? No, never played. Oof. Ended up taking a place in an off the ball instead. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> it's our fault. It's our fault. <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're like my four-year-old. Oh, no, no, not my fault. I didn't do that. Everything else, everybody else is to blame except me. Uh, what's uh, free advertising for the Roost there as well on the front of your jersey so you're very welcome for that everybody in the Roost venue uh, our final contestant today is here for the pints but there is no pint pouring around this round so he's drinking in the middle of the morning for no reason at all give it up for Jer Gilroy wow I would just like to put on the record that I know myself and Tommy are going to get screwed over here because we beat you in the argument about the team of the decade I just wanted everybody to know and understand that they need to go and check that out on our highlights pod, I presume we put it up on our GA pod as well. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Um, yeah. If we didn't, we will. We did. There you go. Owen took a, a paddling yesterday and is going to take it out on us now on the crappy quiz. So, Owen, or, uh, Adrian, that- congratulations. Yeah, yeah, Adrian, 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 already. Getting your count, excuse count, in count, early. Count. Listen, you can't, I'm on three in a row. You can't, you know, come at the champ. You better come at the champ. If you come at the champ. truly, truly unprecedented, Tommy, yeah. Yeah. If you come at the champ, you best not miss. Uh, Joe, you sound like uh, like one of the guys from Days and Confused, like hanging around the arcade, saying, oh, I got the high score in this game. Space Invaders is better than you at this. <laughs> it's really strong stuff. Uh, and uh, I'm truly being beaten down today. Uh, right. I've actually deleted all the text here where I talk about the format of the quiz. As Joe Gilroy has frozen, will he return? Who knows? Will I ask him a question anyway and see if his blank staring face answers? Well, he is back. He might come back. (laughs) Let's move on. Round one. The boring questions round. Never multiple choice. This quiz is all about 2004. We're back on the ears because Nathan's not here. Question one for you, Adrian. 2004 was the last Olympic Games before Usain Bolt. Who who won the men's 100 metres in 04? Justin Gatlin? Correct. Justin Gatlin, indeed. Um, do you remember watching it? I presume you do. It's 2000, 2004 is a good, strong sports year for Ger and Adrian here, I'd imagine. Um, Tommy, we'll see. You're up. Tommy, Ireland drew a blank at the 2004 Olympics with zero gold, zero silver, and zero bronze medals. But can you name the controversial horse that, me- had, uh, that had its medal stripped? Oh, come on! Waterford Crystal. Correct. Well done, Tommy. Thank you. Sure. Uh, like I've, I've given you, like, I mean, it's almost as like if you've done some uh, study here. Your team of the decade, your team of the decade, Tyrone, put up a gallant fight in their defense of Sam Maguire in 2004. Who knocked them out of the championship by a cool four point margin? It's either Mayo or Leash. I'm going to go with Mayo. Correct. Ah, Woo! here. Hold on, a, hold on a second now. 
Well, quiz viewers might not know that there was a major edit that had to be done there because of feedback yeah, on the microphone. Jay Gilroy could have been Googling there when that edit was happening. How how could I have been Googling? I don't know, but my eyes weren't on your, <laughs> your typing. You definitely could have been cheating. Um, Tommy is the king of cheats. He knows how these things work. I have never yeah. cheated in a quiz. <laughs> Of course, uh, a massive shock there, Mayo. Uh, not bad for a team that contributed to Kerry's soft all Ireland's around this time. Round two, the <laughs> Euro 2004 round. Uh, Ireland failed to qualify for this tournament, but the standard was pretty high, with Latvia taking part and Greece winning the whole thing out. This round will test your knowledge on that summer's tournament. Uh, question two for you, Adrian. David Beckham skied that penalty over the bar in England's shootout defeat to Portugal that year. But who was the other England player that missed a penalty in that shootout? Jesus. Oof. Oof. Who? Oof. Stuart Pearce, Gareth Southgate, and. Maybe I'll just run with Gareth Southgate since I know he missed a penalty and can't quite remember exactly where it was. No, Euro 2004. Was it Darius? Was it Darius Fassell? It was Darius Fassell. Good research, wow. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> camera, camera cuts to Schieffer. Darius Fassell. <laughs> uh, Tommy, question two for you. Who scored Greece's winner in the final against Portugal? Karasteus. Correct. Yeah, it is at, there, at, at least he didn't do the whole hmm, thinking about it for a while. Or had, like, just call him Tommy Ingram. Uh, Tommy, I was just about to say. I haven't, got the time. I haven't got the time to research here. It could really, it really could really really. work for you. It, like, yeah, it's Arius Vassell. Angelus Karasteus. <laughs> it's Karasteus, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Question two for you, Jer. Uh, who, finished to- <laughs> who finished top scorer of Euro 2004? Euro 2004. Yes, that is I right. remember almost nothing about this tournament. So the Greeks won it uh, with a load of one nils, and they beat Portugal in the final. Is that right? It, it was in Portugal, Possibly. was it? Who knows? Who knows? Jer- who knows? Was it in Portugal? We can't. Are there a, is no there, oh, and are there are there a bunch of people? Uh, is there a bunch of people who is the correct answer to this? There are, there are no clues. No, no clues. and I know the answer. Hang on, a, hang on a second. Are there multiple people who are the answer to this? Or not? No. Okay, so I need, I'm looking for one person. You, one can't, person, you yeah. can't be asking subsidiary He's questions. not going to get it. He's not going to get it. God, I've got my decades wrong here. Um, is it Mirza Klosa? No. Anyone? Uh, the the Liverpool striker from the Czech Republic, Milan Baras. Ah, bollocks! Baras, yes. Baras, yes. Tommy really has... To be fair to you, Tommy, yeah. you really have researched this very well. Very I actually well. backed, I backed Milan Baros to be top scorer in that tournament. Did you? Yeah. Nice. It's a long time ago now, Tommy. How much did you win? Good odds. I was like, he was like 50 to 1 or something. Oh, it's wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. Or else I didn't back him and that was the story. It was one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, round three. Uh, the score's going to be to Tommy 2, Adrian 1. Round 3 is the year of Jose round. 2004 was the year Jose Mourinho slid along his knees all the way to continental glory and into the manager's job at Chelsea Football Club. Let's see how well you remember his year. Adrian, Jose's profile skyrocketed in the spring as he took Porto all the way to the Champions League. Who was his opposing manager in the final? That is a good question. The knee sliding was the semi-final, was it? The which one? The knee sliding. Could have been the year before, no, was, Adrian. Went. No, that was that was a quarter. That was a quarter final. The answer is Martin O'Neill, Adrian. Say, say, say Martin O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, this this is like answering Kilkenny to um, hurling question because you're playing the percentage game. So I'll go with Carlo Ancelotti. Um, Didier Deschamps. Didier Deschamps, indeed. Jesus, you really have done your research. Uh, <laughs> Monaco lost the final that year, and Didier Deschamps was their manager. Oh, right. the, the, only, the, only difference, the only difference between t- uh, Tommy and Charles Ingram is that like, char- at least Charles Ingram had the like, dignity to fake act his way through it and kind of go, hmm, 
Was it? No, it couldn't have been. Mm, maybe it was. De, 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 hey. Deschamps? Tommy's like straight in. I know. Tommy's 13 at this stage. It's like, this is his prime. These are the years he remembers everything for. Yeah, exactly. Like, my, first, my first game in Old Trafford was the uh, knee slide from Mourinho. Broke wow, my heart. God. There you go. Celtic Tiger was in its pomp, wasn't it? Jesus. Uh, question three for you, Tommy. If Didier Drogba was the most expensive player signed in his first transfer window, who was Jose's second most expensive signing that summer? Now, this is something oh. you surely can't have. Really. This is not the list of things to learn before a quiz. So this will, this, this will actually be your first real question, I would have thought. So, so in his first summer, who was, who was the most expensive signing in the first summer? After Drogba. After Drogba. Was it Crespo? No. Shevchenko? No. Crespo was ages before that. Yeah. Check. No, yeah. Duffer. Check, check was that summer. Was it Duffer? Was it no, Duff? Duffer was the summer beforehand. Duffer was uh, before Jose. Robin. Oh, no. yeah. Robin, you're getting closer, though. Robin was the fourth most expensive signing that Mateo, summer. Matteo Kesman. No, not Kesman. Five and a half million. It was uh, Ricardo Carvalho. Oh, wow. That was a tough question. So, tough who was third? So, it was. Pereira. Wow, he spent a lot of money in one that was, go. Yeah. That was nasty. That was a nasty good, question, though. Good off season. Tough one out there, but uh, you've, you've proved yourself. You know, take it, be flattered by that sort of question. Uh, question three for you, Jer. Uh, name the Chelsea chief executive that unveiled Jose Mourinho at that famous first press conference. Uh, Peter Kenyon. Correct. Ah, come on. I was going to say Peter Law first. Uh, that's Ooh. a gimme. The, the oh, sort of preemptive complaints from Jer uh, have now seen him score three points from three. <laughs> Tommy's on two points from three. And Adrian, you're on one point from three. So it's funny how oh, that no, works this, out. This is, sorry, this isn't in my nature, but I got the second question wrong. I'm, I'm calling foul. I've Ooh. actually only got two rights. Oh, God. Yeah, is good it, point. Tommy, anything Ooh. you want to... Oh, Jer, <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> And to be fair, you're calling yourself out there. It's not in my nature. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's, I'm, I'm that's, a, that's the joke. <laughs> Tommy, anything you want to tell us? Are you... <laughs> cheating? Lads, you accuse now's, me. Now's we week on. Week on. I think time, the public Charles. know that I don't cheat. Come on, Charles. Now's the time. No. <laughs> Here, hang on a second. I just want to, I just want to, like, this is the first time in the history of this competition that anybody's been honest. I just, I, there should be a bonus point for that at least. <laughs> Give you your point back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you are, you went, uh, good to see you go full Rainer Wolfcastle on this quiz anyway, but uh, that certainly was the joke. And round four is uh, the other stuff that <laughs> happened in 2004 that's not sport rounds. Adrian, you're Come on. Uh, name the artist. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, balls. When I the pimp, gonna be an Oscars. When the pimp is in the crib, Matt, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, drop yeah. it like it's hot. <laughs> uh, Tommy, what are you doing? What have you got your hands on the computer for? I was going to put the song on. I was oh, like, everyone knows you're, awesome. you're sitting beside the computer. Oh, okay. I can't computer believe closed. it. Computer oh. closed. Oh. 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 Computer even closes. Oh. The Euros 2004. Carthus. <laughs> I want to see what windows are open. Genuinely, uh, he was trying to get. To, oh, well, the, that computer's down. Yeah, well, Snoop Dogg. Correct. He just looked it up for like 45 minutes while we were <laughs> getting distracted by Tommy. There's no uh, way you knew that was Snoop Dogg, by the was, way. There's literally no instinct. way. It was my first instinct, and. Uh, there's literally nothing. I can show you my capacity to be able to Google anything at the table in front of me. There's a shepherd's pie on my phone, and that's it. Well, and, one thing and, you uh, could have done there, you could have had Shazam open on your phone as Owen read out the lyrics. Move on. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Charlie, Charlie Ingram, move on. Uh, recognizes perfection. You, you really have gone full uh, major fraud here, which is shocking stuff, quite frankly. Tommy, to make it up to yourself, really and uh, to everybody you love. It's uh, a question about the Eurovision. Who represented Ireland at the 2004 Eurovision? He was from Waterford, and he won Eurostar. Oh, Brian Kennedy. God. No. George Who? something or other. No. The singer, the young lad. Yeah, he was certainly he's, a singer. He was, he was <laughs> a kid. Um, uh, was he a kid? Well, he's, he's Dustin Joe. Mickey Joe. No, he wasn't from there. No, no he's, he's only 40 now, so he's... I thought Dustin was from Dublin, no? 
18 years ago. So he's 22. <laughs> I, I thought he was from 16 years, 16 years ago. 16 years ago. Yeah, 20, 24. Tommy, you've full Charles Ingram on his. Come on. What's Come his name? From the brink. His name is Chris Doran. All right. Ah, here. Who would uh, know that? Sure. Again, like you've got the jurors got the easiest. This, these questions are so unfair. You've got the easiest question here in this round again. Absolute disgrace, Jer. Uh, which Lord of the Rings film won Best Picture at the Oscars in 2004? Uh, Return of the King. Correct. Oh, here. That's the scratch. Questions are won eleven Oscars, uh, tying Ben Hur and something else. Titanic for eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, what are you doing? Googling. Ooh. Exactly. I did. I did a bit of research. And my before this happened, I was like, the one thing that I prepared for was the Oscars because sometimes that comes up. Like he's going to ask me the question of the character played in Monster that Charlize Theron won the Oscar for, and I was like, is he? No, I won't look that up. Uh, well, well done. Good research. Round four. Uh, before we get into that, just to let you know, the scores are Jared three, Tommy two, Adrian two. Round four, the fun free magic number round. Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right here. And if no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. Uh, I'm going to say that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. The number of times Jose Mourinho has won the Champions League as a manager. Plus the number of times Muhammad Ali got beaten in professional boxing. Plus the number of Olympic gold medals Michael Jordan has won. Plus the number of NBA championship rings Michael Jordan has won. Your 30 seconds expire when Snatcher sings Bright Shiny Beats. The number of times Jose Mourinho managed team has won the Champions League. The number of times Ali got beaten in pro boxing. The number of Olympic goals won by Michael Jordan. And then also throw in the number of championship rings he has. All right, time is almost up. Going to need your pens down. Tommy's pen is down. Jared's pen is down. Adrian, you're up. Pen down, yeah. So I'm, I've, I've rejigged my answer there. What have you got? 17? 17. Yeah. Yeah. Jared? 14. Tommy? Ah, damn it, 11. 15 is the answer. So Jared gets the Woo! Tommy gets the one point. Damn it. Uh, Adrian, you get nothing there. Let's go through those answers. The number of times Jose has won the Champions League. Three. Two. Two. Uh, in right. Porto. Uh, Muhammad Ali got beaten five times. Uh, uh, six. Michael ah. Jordan has two Olympic medals. Had two. And, six. And uh, he's got six, six. championship six rings. Had six. So one, two, three, four, five is Jerry's score. Uh, Tommy is on three. And Adrian, you are on two. Which brings us on I'm to so the rapid fire right. round. Uh, the round that separates uh, the men from the boys. It's the no team in particular, ridiculously easy, rapid fire round. The score you get in this round will be added to your score from the previous round. You get it. It's 40 seconds. You get one wrong, you get a minus point. You get one right, you get a plus point. Move on to the next person, etc., etc. We're starting with Jerk because you're in the lead. Then we move on to Tommy because he's second. And then we move on to Adrian. He's got two points. And he's oh, last. 4-3-3. 5-3-3. Three, three. Four, three, two. Four, three, two. Five, three, two. Five, three, two. Yeah, five feet. Should be six. Jesus, Jer- but Jer- I get if back the points. If you battle this. Ah, it will, it if he gets one wrong. Like, you're like three nil up. If he gets one wrong. Oof, suddenly, Tommy. I would recommend you do this after the time starts, Adrian, so that we can count the clock <laughs> down. You know, I'm going to... There's a no few chance. moves here I can do to stall things. Right, Jerry, are you ready? Yeah. The 40 seconds starts now. What colour is Doncaster United's home shirt? White and what other colour? Black. No, red. What sport does Natalia Coyle compete in, Tommy? Uh, modern pentathlon. Correct. What national league division are Sligo's footballers in? Uh, division 3. No, Division 4. Uh, who is the Armagh football manager currently, Adrian? Kerry McGinney. Correct. What club does Ian Keithley play for? Treviso. Fine. C- correct. What, t- what team did Ireland last play a test match against in rugby? England. Correct. Who won this year's Super Bowl? The Patriots. What? No, Kansas Come City Chiefs. Sure, name any player who tied for second at last year's Masters. Time's up. Rory. One, one more, one more. Oh, one. no, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. I got, I've got an answer here. So, uh, no, come on, you got, you got to finish come on, come on, second come on. at last year's Masters. Who actually won the... Who no, won you got to get, no, get, get my time. Answer, no, no. Sure, time's up, time's up. Okay. Okay. That's a wrong Rory, score. Point guard. Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy, no. That's incorrect. Oh, come on. Uh, is that there not one more question, no? Hold on a minute. That Brooks Kepka. Oh, there's no more Brooks questions. Brooks Kepka. Hold on a minute. Just let me... I can't concentrate doing these difficult <laughs> Oh, maths. this is bollocks. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't have to answer that. I didn't have to answer that. You did. No, but you got a point to No, 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 no. He said time's up, but I didn't answer it. So, 
It's an incorrect answer. answer. It's an incorrect answer. No, it's not an incorrect answer. Point gone either way. So if you don't on. answer, it's, it's an incorrect top, answer. Let's top this up. So, Jar, you finish up on three points. You just got two wrong. <laughs> uh, Tommy, you got one right, one wrong, which leaves you at three. Yes! <laughs> Come so from it's, behind. It's three all. Four! And Adrian finished up. He went from two to three to four to five. Yes. Minus one. Then, which yes. is four. Adrian wins. <laughs> yes! Like, four like I said, it was fixed. Four it was fixed. Champ, four champ, 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 champ. Uh, How do you listen. feel? Oh, I mean, it's just become, I mean, get, getting used to it. That one was probably particularly sweet on, given that the other ones I've sort of bled from tape to tape. This one had a bit of hard work to do there. And be. I mean, but the I other ones you won because said, you, you, you poured a pint of Guinness. Jerv was going to bottle it. We all knew it. And that's what um, happened. Ah, I, 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 lad, I, I didn't walked. expect Charlie Ingram Sligo. to go down with it. Sligo. Jesus. I think with for with respect, is it, is it, who finished second in the Masters last year? Like, I mean, it was one of the most famous sports events of all time. That's the that's the look of the draw, lads. Tiger's comeback, and you could have you could have you, you could have given me Kepke. Brooks Kepke was such an easy answer. Dustin Johnson such an easy answer. Xander Schaufele, okay, not as easy easy, but the other two you should have got. Rory McIlroy, come on, you would have remembered Rory uh, finishing second behind he, Tiger. He got he got Kieran McGinney, who's the Ironman manager. Well, what other crappy questions did you get? Who won ah, the Super listen, Bowl? Come on. Who won come the on, fucking Super Bowl? Like he got that wrong. With all due respect, come on. Yeah, but it's like it's the. Listen, anyway, who got who what got sport does Natalia Coyle play? What color are Doncaster's jerseys? That was a ridiculous that. question, Natalia Coyle. What color are Doncaster's jerseys? Who knows? Yeah, who's seen Doncaster white. play a match ever? What? Red, it's red. red. It's red and white. It's very. That's that's an obvious. Simple, one. actually. Yeah. I hope my music is. Uh... Oh, believe me, it's pumping. It's pumping. Uh, I feel four a bit like the dubs. Feel a bit oh. like the dubs. Well, yeah. Well, the dubs. It'll be the mano. It'll be the mano next time round. All right, okay, next, next Tuesday, Cherry oh he has rage yeah, quitted on us. Ah. And it looks like I've won the game. He's, he's, like the, he's like the guy in the quiz. He's like the guy in the quiz on the two of them. You know, the lad who sat there at the end with his arms folded. What's <laughs> going on? Well, Adrian, it's just you and I, but thank you very much for joining me. You will oh, be back Oh, it was a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. You ran a seamless quiz as always. The questions were fantastic. I'd just like to endorse and compliment what a tremendous job you're doing. It's a tremendous job, seamless job. I've never seen a better quiz master. Thank you very much. On that note, that is a crappy quiz for this week. Send in any questions, tweet us at Off The Ball. Chat to you next week.